Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'd like to share with you how to crochet the diamond stitch and also how to do this border. It's made using multiples of four plus three and it's a perfect little stitch for blankets. So let's get started. So working in multiples of four plus three for the swatch I'm starting with 19 chains and then we are going to double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. One, two, three, four. And going into the top loop of the chain with our first double crochet. And then in each chain, working in the top loop, work a double crochet in each chain right to the end. And you should end up with a total of 17 stitches and that will include your two, oh sorry, your building chain here. So see you in a few secs. When you've completed your double crochets, turn your work and do two yarn overs and then skip the first two double crochets and at the base of the third double crochet in that chain base chain, insert your hook from right to left so you get a front post of the chain and then yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two and then in the very first stitch of the row insert your hook, yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through all three loops Next, we're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then we're going to do an incomplete treble and work it around the chain post here that we worked around last time. So yarn over twice, going back on yourself around that same little base chain post yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two again, then yarn over twice, now skip three posts, one, two, three, and round the next post, chain at the bottom post, insert your hook and do a front post just get rid of that little bit of fluff there. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then find the next stitch along that you haven't worked into. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four. And there you've made what looks like a little inverted V comprised of your two um, treble stitches. Right, next single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then just repeat what you did before. It's almost like, and it's, um, like a treble decrease really. Right, so yarn over twice, come back on yourself around the same post, chain post, and then yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, yarn over twice, skip three posts, one, two, three, and around into the chain, the base chain, Around that little post there, do yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then find the next stitch along, which is just there. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all four, and you've completed another inverted V. 
So this is actually part of the diamond. It's worked in halves along one row. So next we need to do our three single crochets, one in each of the next three stitches. Another treble front post back on yourself around that same post. Yarn over, pull through and then just work off two stitches twice. Then yarn over twice again, skip three, one, two, three and around into that base chain, do a front post treble again. Three loops on your hook, identify where that last chain is that you've not worked into and then yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through all four and then single crochet into the next three stitches. And next we're going to do a front post treble crochet around this little base chain again here. Yarn over twice, back into there, another front post, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two and then in this final stitch just here that can be a little bit difficult to identify but it's just if you rotate your work you'll see the two loops there. And then yarn over, pull through all three. So now we've completed our first proper row of the diamond stitch. Next we're going to do a row of double crochets. In order not to get a gap at the beginning of the work, just turn, insert your hook in that first space, yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through two, insert your hook in the side of that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that gives you a nice chunky stitch so you don't get any gaps. Then double crochet right to the end of this row. And I'll meet you in, the, in a few secs. So a double crochet in each stitch to the end. So when you finish the double crochet row, and the double crochet row is every other row, you turn your work and have a look now what uh, part of the diamond you need to do next. It's really good if you can just look at it and do it by eye. So if you think this is going to be the base of your diamond, you're going to need a side of the diamond here and another side there. So what we need to do here is do two single crochets to bring us across to the peak of where the diamond will be. So straight away insert your hook, no chains for a neat edge, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and then straight into the next single crochet, sorry stitch with a single crochet. Okay, so if you look here you can see the base of the diamond and directly above will be where the peak or the tip of the diamond will be. Right, we're going to do yarn over twice and do our treble around here. But it's going to be an incomplete treble, just like we did on the previous row. Yarn over twice and then along here go under both posts of this part of the diamond. Just grab the yarn and then yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that again. Let's get that all out of the way. Right. Okay, so we've completed this side of the diamond and for the next side, yarn over twice and then go under both these trebles here from post trebles. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over pull through two and now we're going to put a single or just our hook in the next stitch that we haven't worked into you can see we've worked into this one so that's the next one we need to work into think that's how it's supposed to be yeah in there yarn over pull through four loops on your hook and close the diamond there we go so you've completed your first diamond there in the next stitch a single crochet in the next one a single crochet in the next one a single crochet and now we need to complete our next diamond exactly the same way yarn over twice round both posts there pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over twice underneath both trebles there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and then insert our hook in the next stitch along that we haven't worked into yet just here insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all four so you complete that all the way to the end of the row so i'll meet you at the end if you have any trouble just rewind the video for a recap so i'm almost at the end of the row I've done this incomplete treble here, so yarn over twice, find this last treble here, go underneath, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two, and then in your next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through all four, and then single crochet in the last two stitches so for this row and every other row we're going to alternate between having the diamond the side of the diamond start here or the tip of the diamond start or the base of the diamond start there so it's a good idea to just think if you're on your diamond row have a little peep how your diamond should be looking so if we just go ahead now and double crochet the next row remember every other row is a double crochet row starting off with it's almost like two single crochets and then double crochet in each stitch all the way along and I'll meet you at the other end Having finished this row of double crochets now, turning the work, if we have a look here, you can see that we really need to have another diamond just here like so. So we would repeat what we did on this row here by doing yarn over twice instead of going around the base chain as we did here we can now go around or under both those trebles like so and complete the side of our diamond and then in that very first stitch we can do our single crochet then do a single crochet in each of the next three stitches and now you're ready to do your incomplete trebles to complete the top or the peak of the next diamond we would do that just for one sec
you can see it's a lot easier once you've got those trebles to work under and then single crochet sorry insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all four and then do your three single crochets and you start all over again closing your diamonds there we go so we'll repeat this here and here and at the end we're going to do the side of the diamond and finish it just here so almost at the end of the final row single crochet in the next three stitches you have one left here so yarn over twice go around the two trebles there and then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then in your final stitch here insert your hook under two loops yarn over pull through yarn over pull through three and there you've completed the next row of the diamond so you've got a little diamond here and one here and you just repeat this now so you'll do another row of double crochets and then restart by single crochet two and repeating this row here okay so hope that's helped now we'll move on to the border so when we start the border we need to have finished with the peak of the diamond on each corner here like so I've done a little sample in a DK in white here so I'm going to work the border around this little sample to show you how it's done so we're going to start off here and just do yarn over twice and then working down the side finding this peak of this diamond just insert your hook in there yarn over pull through then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and again back in the same space with a treble a double treble in the UK or in UK terminology keep going back in that same space for a total of five times And then we have a little look here. You can see just here it's parallel, sorry, vertically aligned with the edge there. So we need to pop a single crochet just there, almost halfway between the two peaks. Then we just need to get some more yarn. There we go yarn over twice and again where the little peak is insert your hook yarn over hang on let's just get it's good to go underneath where the little um, stitch can be caught we need to yarn over twice so we'll try this again <laughs> right yarn over twice under the peak and then complete five trebles I think I'll zoom out just slightly so you can see 
little bit easier. So basically it's a, a five treble shell. Sorry, the white doesn't really show up as well. Look here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And then right in the middle of this gap here, just do it by eye. Just insert a single crochet and then again. the tip here where this diamond tip is just go underneath try and go under a little stitch as well and do your five treble shell And coming up to the corner, turn five, one, two, three, four, five, and just here in the corner, insert your hook and do a single crochet, three chains. Sorry about the focus, and then back in that same space. A single crochet and then repeat doing your five treble shell in the next peak and this gives quite a nice corner Need to unravel this yarn. It is something I should have done before, really. There we go. So we've done one, two, three, and then four, and And then here, straight in the centre, a single crochet. Because of how the diamonds are, you'll find that these are bunched up a little closer at the base than on the side, but you can hardly notice it. Right, let's zoom out a little further. So this is how it looks. how you get your little corner and you just work down here by doing your five treble shell in here a single crochet there five treble shell single crochet five treble shell single crochet three chain single crochet in each corner and off you go again five treble shell single crochet five treble shell single crochet and then hopefully at the end you'll have something that looks like this. Well, thanks so much, so much for watching and um, hope to see you soon on the next video. If you've enjoyed, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, that would be lovely. And if you're not already subscribed, it would, he it would really help my channel a lot if you could. Um, look forward to seeing you soon. In the meantime, take care and bye for now.